So I'll share a little of what happened last week as the precursor to what's present now. Last week there was a another layer of that surrendering of I am and surrendering any sense of <laughs> seemable sense of self surrendering in through the I am of of light of the the mind the light mind of God itself and so the sense of self let go of any sense of form that it knew as human as soul as God self surrendered its sense of form surrendered its identity and rested as the pure light I am mind of the God self what I call the God self which is arises out of God and in this surrendering and resting as that there was a recognition of God's light or source light shining as God shining and projecting forward as the mind of the God self that light shining and projecting itself through all the other layers of of being and there was an awareness in this how light that casts no shadow can actually shift within itself to create the experience of shadow. And so there was an experiential awareness of the purity that we all are. And within that purity and innocence, how we can create a shadow self and then suddenly seeing our shadow self can be frightened by our own shadow because we actually we are light and so in this subtle shift there was a recognition of the play and the unfolding of our shadow selves that we work with as humans in our humanness, in our inner unfolding, in our inner path of awakening, in our, in our therapy sessions, in our relationships, in, in the collective. And there was a recognition of each of us being the totality of light and the individuated expression of that light. And in this realization, there was a recognition that in our interfacing with all of life, let me add another piece here. Because the element of dreaming is, is really crucial. We are God's dreaming. We are the 3D dream. And the pure light that we are can never be hurt, diminished. There's, there's no wounding. There's no trauma. There's no darkness from this pure light of of mind, of I am mind, of God's pure light I am of mind coming forth into the world, <laughs> in the world as the world, creating the world, expressing to then project self through into this manifestation. And so in this realization there was a recognition that any experience of negativity on the outside is someone else's dreaming and that their dreaming does not need to 
influence. Their dreaming doesn't need, I don't need to be frightened by their dreaming. And so there was a recognition of the large dream that's happening and that we're dreaming ourselves awake. We are dreaming ourselves awake. And there's nothing to fear. <laughs> 